Verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. Yeah, That's man, the... Hey, man knoweth not also his time. I'm sure that nigga's drinking, he's gonna have a good time. He's gonna kick it with his boyfriend, which that's a, uh, a wild concept, yeah. you know? He thought, you know, he had all types of plans for the world, yeah. you know? For, he had a, probably had a five-year plan, probably had a counselor he sat down with. But man don't know his time. Man, I know Josh, man, that nigga, he's probably about to go smash on another man's woman. <laughs> no side guys. Keep going. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net. Right, yeah. Hey, the fish swimming around, they don't know, they don't know. They're they, they gonna do what they do, but hey, they get swept up and, and cooked. All right, keep going. And as, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, yep. so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. Yep. When it falleth suddenly upon them. When it, when it falleth suddenly upon them, man. Okay, hey, brother, can you give me uh, Ezekiel, the seventh chapter? Five, and then, and then jump to uh, uh, 24. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, and evil, and only evil, and only evil, behold, is come. Right, evil and only evil is come. All right, that evil time is coming, man. Bad times America, because that's what evil means, bad times. Get, get 24 verse. Verse 24. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pump of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Keep going. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, right. and there De shall be none. Right, destruction's gonna come, and you're gonna seek peace, and there's not gonna be none, man. And you know, man, all these dudes are getting judged. You know, they wanted, they wanted a peaceful moment, man. You know, your, uh, uh, the dude who got smoked in Arkansas? Destruction came, you know, he's, everybody, everybody seek peace, want that plea bargain, man, and there's not gonna be none. That's the time that we coming in. This is talking about Israel. Yeah, three and twenty-five. All time. Yeah, come on, come on. This is Sirach, chapter twenty-seven, verse twenty-seven. He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know when it's coming. Read that again. Sirach twenty-seven, twenty-seven. He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know whence it cometh. He's not gonna know where it came from. And, and you get so reprobate, you like you be asking God why, why? Here it is, you didn't, you an adulterer, you a murderer, you didn't sold drugs for ten years, promoted selling drugs. Like that nigga Future man, the most odds gonna kill that guy. That's, that's that's one of the most wicked. Now. I couldn't, now I couldn't listen to 15 minutes of this shit, man. Man, and man, and boy, boy. That, nigga, that nigga's a witch, man. Yep. So that nigga get, he got a song, Wicked, 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 yo. Yep. Like, God damn, these niggas are just straight out wicked. The devil, they're the devil, man. They're just straight out the devil. And we don't know how true it is, but like a lot of the brothers say, man, they don't even think he get down like that. Like taking all them drugs and shit, nah, he nah. just pushing it because it's, it's sales. It's profitable. Right. He'll be dead if he was. Right. Yeah, him and Drake, those them niggas are fake. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't live what they talk about. And most, most, most of them rappers are like that, man. Like, remember they had that skit on Dave Chappelle about Lil Jon? Yeah. That was, yeah. But that was real though. Yeah. But that was, but that was real. Mm -hmm. All them little cartoons, even uh, uh, Boondocks, man. Yeah. Boondocks is bringing out stuff that they brought out stuff that's actually happening now. It was supposed to be satire, but it's true. You know they yeah they got like two chains they're college yeah, graduates the, 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 they, they 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 talk super super pop proper and they all astute and stuff oh not Nas oh not oh, oh plies oh yeah that yeah 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 like that nigga Nas oh I thought he said but plies yeah that that nigga you know? <laughs> that nigga yeah but Nas yeah that nigga he invests in startups man. They, they, behind the scenes, they make moves, man. But they push out. They push out for you to just be a, a, a so-called hood nigga. Push out ignorance. Yeah. ignorance. Like Jeezy's like son, his son went to college. His son just graduated college. Yeah. He ain't, yeah. He ain't about to. He ain't about to project that. Right. Yeah, nigga, go get. Which that's bullshit, anyways. You know what I mean? Right. Going exactly. to college. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, still. Point. Point being, in this society, that's supposed to be like something that's upheld. You're. You're. A, yeah. Like the brother said, prestige. You got something, brother? Yeah. You brothers wanna. I just want to step up. Yeah, I'll keep going, man. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, this is the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. Yep. And there is no respect of persons. Right, there's no respect to persons, meaning you can't, you're not going to buy off the Heavenly Father. There's respect to persons. I mean, this whole society is based off respect to persons. Look at lobbying. That's respect to persons. All right, having money to get a lawyer, or so, and they always want to get a so-called Jew lawyer because he has inroads with the judge. All right, it's going to be a respect to persons, not with the Heavenly Father. If you do the crime, you got to do the time. That's what you tell Jake. And, and really, the, the time is really the time of you getting put to death, man. That feeling before you get put to death. Because most when you read our laws, it's either lash, it's mostly it's lashes or death. There ain't no, I like, keep him inward for 10 years and have him. It, if you was put inward, it was for the mind of the Heavenly Father to be revealed what your judgment is going to be. Is it going to be lashes or are you going to get put to death? Like they, like they did that, they put that, uh, that, that tear the Hamite in work, like pretty much in prison, in jail. But it was for a short time to determine what was going to be his judgment, man. Yeah, so that, and really, and ultimately, he saw your, he saw you other nations, your time is going to be slavery, man. Right, right. And, and you deserve it, and you got to go to slavery, man. You're not supposed to be walking free. You don't know what to do. You don't know, you don't know what to do with yourself. You got to be, you got to be controlled like an animal, man. That's right. So with that, you know, just better get it. Yeah, and, and the basis of this all is like America will come be destroyed real soon, man. So, you know, the reality of understanding, oh, the cast away. You know, the, the reality of understanding that, man, these scriptures are the only thing that's gonna preserve us, man. That's right. So, you niggas getting into all this other foolishness and whatever you wanna believe in, nah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come out here and profess the word of the Heavenly Father week in and week out right. until He tell us it's time for us to get off the corner. But until then, death to y'all niggas, man. Y'all ain't gonna stop this. Why? Cause it, like the scriptures say, this is not a man. Somebody get that fucking real quick. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord. So cometh as a thief in the night. Right, and that's how it's going to be to you people walking around here, man. The most high coming like a thief in the night. Why? Because y'all going to continue to live in your lasciviousness and your wickedness, man. And, and, and guess what? The irony is the most high got his men out on all four corners of the earth pushing out this truth, man. And that just show you the state, the state of mind that Israel is in, man. That the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night to you people, man. Mark! When all you got to do is turn on the goddamn news, man. All, all, really, all you got to do is walk to the uh, downtown area of your local state, man, whatever state you in, man. And the truth is coming out. But, hey, like the brother said earlier, a nigga ain't going to get this. A nigga ain't going to pay attention. He ain't going to take heed. He going to look at it, look at us as bug outs. But it's cool. Like I always say, it's going to go from us looking like bug outs to y'all being the bug outs, man. That's right. That's right. Verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them. Right, and that's what the Pope came here on, his, his little uh, uh, rendezvous, coming to push that, oh, yeah, hey, it's peace. I want all religions to come together, which is complete wickedness. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck a, a Buddhist going to get down with somebody of Islam, man? That's complete madness, man. But the scriptures say, when they start saying that, then comes sudden destruction. And that's what we coming out here to proclaim. America's gonna be destroyed with nuclear fire, man. That's right. Go ahead. As travail upon the woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right, like as it travail upon a woman with child. And we all know what women go through. I had a child, I, I witnessed my wife look me in my eyes and say, get the fuck out my face, man. That's the type of pain she was in. So that's how it's going down, man. Once, it's, once it pop off, it ain't turning back, man. And you people deserve that shit, man. Why? Because y'all, like the brother brought out in Proverbs 1, y'all, and, 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 and none of the most highest counsel. So you're just going to have to deal with the repercussions, plain and simple. God, there's a precept off of that. There's the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 32. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No. Go ahead, no, no. Knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. 
verse 33. Take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Come on, so like the brother uh, was saying to me, um, just expounding on, we got to watch and pray and, 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 and look at the times that we're living. We know the Lord's coming back. So that's why you got to get extra si serious in this. We all live in the end times. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's all I got to say. You know, real short yeah. It's Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. And like right now, hey, we're telling y'all, the Most High coming with the chariots of the Most High, right? Which, uh, which you, you ignorant ass people look at as UFOs, and he coming with these nuclear missiles. But right now we sound stupid, but soon you're gonna see it. Like the elders always say, this this revolution is gonna be televised, man. That's right. You're gonna see this shit, man. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh. Right, that's how the Most High gonna plead with you. He gonna plead his case with that nuclear fire in his chariots like a whirlwind, man. What? And all you non-believers and scoffers, you just gonna be evaporated, man. Y'all seen the movie War of the Worlds? And, and you know, Lord willing, we don't be here, you know, till Independence Day come out. But I'm pretty sure that's gonna give us some little, you know, a little fire under, uh, you know, to show us what how the Most High rocking, man. But since, hey, since y'all don't wanna take heed to the word, then that's what's coming, man. That's in the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah. But it, read, start back again. Right? Start back again. Because it's in the Old Testament, right? But let's see what, pre what pretense is talking in. Go ahead. It's Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And that hasn't happened yet. History hasn't revealed that the Lord came back with his chariots like a whirlwind. Because you people don't understand what that means. But we're going to break it down to where the chariot sign is. Right there. That's what that's saying. That's what, no, nobody has seen that. That hasn't happened in history before. So, regardless that it's in the Old Testament, it's coming, man. And that's what we're coming out here to proclaim. And what did it say? The slain of the Lord shall be many, not few. Meaning the majority of you people are going to be evaporated, man. That's right. right. Like in the war of the world, it's turned to pure powder, man. This is Matthews 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And no, not until the flood, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the, the coming of the Son of Man be. Yes. Same thing the brother doing right now is the same thing that Noah was doing thousands of years ago. Uh. Noah was saying, hey, the world, the world about to get flooded, all right? But niggas are carnal, they're not spiritual. They never seen rain before, so they ain't believe that shit. Same thing the brother's talking about chariots, all right? Um, Russia about to take over this fucking place, the RFID chip. You people never seen it, and y'all carnal as fuck. So y'all not gonna believe it until your hour shot, your hour by shimmy hour shot come. Put you motherfuckers to death, man. That's right. That's right. Just validating the scripture that said there's nothing new under the sun. When uh, wickedness is exceedingly increased, the most high gonna eradicate that shit. Same thing with now, man. But the first time it was water, this time it's gonna be fire. And we we coming out proclaiming, telling you how that's gonna take place. Hey, but since you don't want to listen, you gotta see it. And that's what our people wanna do. They gotta see it to believe it, man. So you're gonna see it. It's going to happen this lifetime. God. Now this uh, just expounds on the chariots more. There's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 13. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. 
His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. God, so just like the, it says in Isaiah 66, which is the last chapter of the book of Isaiah, how the Lord's come back in the chariots, same thing in Jeremiah. The, the chariots are like a cloud. And, so, and there's been multiple videos where the chariots, um, they, they transform into the clouds and transform back into the chariots. Uh, they got that shit all over YouTube. So you can find that on the internet if you want. Right. And that's only for the men of the Lord to understand. Huh. The rest of you people, deaf for y'all, man. Y'all right. so, ain't gonna get it, period, point blank. But you gonna, hey, like with Ezekiel, you shall know that a prophet was a much. Right. right. He is the one, because that's in the Old Testament. He said he shall come with his clouds and his chariots. This is um, Acts chapter 1, verse 9. And uh, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them with white apparel, which also said, You men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Right, Revelation 1 and 7. So right, right, right. Yeah, so um, in Jeremiah and Isaiah say he shall come with his clouds and his chairs with fire. In Acts 1 and 8, those two men were angels. And those angels are telling the, um, the disciples, the apostles, that he's going to come in the same manner that you just saw him be lifted up into heaven just now, which are those chariots. And Isaiah and Jeremiah prophesied that he's coming um, to slay many. He's, that's why he's coming in those chairs. Not just to deliver the uh, elect of Israel, but to slay many of you people. Right. Uh, we got a two-thirds sign. Just a precise. Just to show you the many, right? Because this is the, the nation of Israel. This is specifically dealing with the nation of Israel. And this is that many, but, you know, you know, through the spirit that it's, you know, we can't put a tag on it, but it's it's got to be upwards to one or two billion Israelites. But that's the many just doesn't include Israelites. That's all the rest of you nations, man. That over here in America. So hey, the Most High got to hey, He got a slaughter, man. Right. This is Revelation 27. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Right, every eye going to see this, man. Those chairs are going to encompass the whole face of the earth, man. Everybody going to see this. You know, because when he, hey, when he, when he brought salvation, when we came out of Egypt, it's just thought, you know, the Egyptians and the people in the surrounding city saw that, man. But this time, the whole world going to see it, man. And everybody's going to proclaim that Yahweh is the power of the universe, man. That's what this all boiled down to. You don't have to believe right now. That's the most high. He don't go according to what you think. He's going according to his plan, man. And they also which pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well, shall well because of him. Right. All kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Everybody that's outside of the election of the most high, man. You're going to well at that day, man. Because no, hey, it's, the scriptures say what? In Jacob trouble. Jacob trouble like never before, man. History has never seen a time that's coming to this place, man. Right. The world, man. But you niggas want to continue to be wicked and do what the fuck you want to. The most high sick of that shit, man. Uh, enough is enough. Uh, this is uh, this is Jeremiah 25 and, uh, and 29. For lo, I begin to bring evil upon the city, which is called upon my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord of hosts. Some of the inhabitants? All of the inhabitants of the earth. Right. Verse 30. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation, and he shall give a, sh a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord has a controversy with the nations, and he will plead with all flesh, and he will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. 
Khan, man. So the Most High is coming back to stomp you nations out, man. That's right. All right. All, all you heathens, man, and all you wicked niggas, wherever you be on the planet Earth, the Most High is coming back to kill you niggas, man. Right. Right. All right. It's gonna be blood all over his garments, man. Blood all over the garments of the men of the Lord, man. And 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 the scriptures say, I believe it's in Isaiah or Je or Jeremiah, man. It said that he's gonna sprinkle uh, many nations, man, and he's gonna sprinkle them with their own blood, man. All right. Most High's gonna pour blood out on this place, man. For all you all you wicked niggas, man, and all you scoffing demons that be on the comment board, y'all gonna die too, man. That's right. 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 They are dying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> This is Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And he, and he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole world. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that on that side according to it. Yeah, man. The Lord, just like um, you was bringing out earlier, man. Every eye shall see um, Yahweh Shah when he returns, man. Yahweh Shah come back in the biggest fathership, man. And when he come back, he come back to, like the brother said, sprinkle his garments to put y'all to death, man. That's right. Not only because y'all was wicked, yeah, yeah, y'all basically gave him up to his crucifixion, man. You think he forgave y'all for that, man? You think he's cool with that, man? And, and every day I go on in your life, I continue to crucify him by rejecting this man. Right. And have he, a Caesar Salah, have yeah. a Caesar boy G on your fucking wall in your crib. That, you crucifying the Lord, man. That's right. Nah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, man. And hey, so how how much longer you think he gonna deal with that bullshit, man? Right. He's sick of that, cause he patiently waiting up there to get vengeance. Like the brother bought out in Reve uh, Revelation one and seven, man. Also them that pierce him, also proving that reincarnation exists. Right. Cause the men that pierce him, they dead. They didn't get resurrected. They died. Our Lord and Savior was resurrected. So those people that pierced him are here today. Yeah, ain't no telling, you know, we're probably in the Russian hour, ain't no telling, you know. But the most high, uh, 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 Yahweh shall say, he's gonna get their ass, man. Right. <clears throat> right. That's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 30. There you go. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Right, like the brother was saying earlier, you know, we ain't gonna fuck you up. We, we're not carnal men, we spiritual. We waiting on the, on the Heavenly Father because what He can do to you encompasses a million times what we want to do to you. So we're going to wait on Him to exhibit, and then what we're going to do, we're going to mock. Yeah, and then us waiting on us waiting on Him, it'll give us the power, just like it's saying in the, uh, Leviticus 26 chapter. We can chase a thousand of y'all. Right. Ten of us can chase ten thousand. Right. Why do that? Well, you can, we can, at most, you know, even brothers that are bigger, we can knock out three, four cats. You know? <laughs> Then we gotta sprint, hit a right. hit a hit a hit a fence, you know. Yeah. Why do that? Just wait, man. You gotta be patient. That's right. right. That's right. Like the Maccabee, we hey, it's, it's many accounts in the scriptures when they prayed to the Most High. He said, "Give us our enemies into our hands, man." In the in the, in the feats that they accomplished, man. How many uh, tens of thousands they put to death? So that's what we waiting on, man. We don't want you peons, man. Fuck y'all, man. So, right. Hey, that's that that'll be uh. uh Putting you out of your misery, man. Nah, we want we want to say you to the Most High, man, so He can judge what to do with your ass, man. Right. Go ahead up. I will recompense, saith the Lord, and again, the Lord shall judge His people. His people, Israel, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're gonna be judged, man. Why? Cause you're the ones that got the law. These other nations, they don't know shit, man. They weren't taught. You can't eat dogs and shit like that, man. You niggas know better, man. That's why he said judgment shall begin at the house of Israel, man. Right. Go ahead up. The Lord shall judge his people. Verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right, and two-thirds of our people are, are going to fall into the hands of the living power. And it's a fearful thing. 
You want to know how fearful? Just read Wisdom of Solomon in the 17th chapter. And they'll tell you in detail what he did to the fucking Egyptians, man. All the apparitions and the visions that they were seeing, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands, uh, the hands of the Heavenly Father, man. Hey, and like we said, now hey, we're in the time of playing the waiting game, man. Because, hey, we, we believe wholeheartedly we got the 100% truth. So now we're going to proclaim it and wait for you people to visualize it and see it. And, and guess what? We're going to say, I told you so. And you don't want to hear, I told you so in the time of Jacob's trouble. Trust me. That's right. I got something. You got something? Yeah. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait upon me. Right, Zephaniah. wait upon the Lord, man. Wait upon me. So that cut what Bubble Eyes was saying. Oh, let's leave here and go to Israel or go to Egypt and shit. No, wait ye upon me. Wherever you at, whether it be the Philippines, Taiwan, the UK, wherever you at, wait upon the Lord. Go ahead. Therefore, wait upon me, said the Lord, until the day that, that I raise up to the prey. For for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon to upon, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Okay. Well, that's our job. Woo. We're supposed to we're supposed to wait on the Lord until he until he come back and to devour all these nations. Like, just like, we always refer to this as we being soldiers, man. Yahweh Shai is the one leading the charge, man. Uh, if you try to jump the gun, he's just going to leave you on that loose end, man, which is your depth, man. You wait for him to leave the charge, and you follow after, man. Why would you try to jump the gun or the, or, or the, the, the man that sits on the right-hand side of the Lord of hosts, man, meaning the Lord of armies? He controls all armies. So why would you try to jump the gun, man? And we've seen the counter that in the Maccabees, man, where they tried to create a name for themselves and went out there and tried to uh, go to war and got their ass slaughtered, man. We're going to wait on the Lord, man. That's right. Sit on that seat, bro. Right, this is Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. That I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was there is none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. Con, man, so that's going back uh, to, to Revelations, man. Those Romans that killed Yahweh Shai, man, the most, I, uh, the most I prophesied through Isaiah, man, who is, who is he that uh, cometh uh, from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, man? The most is gonna come back and judge you Edomites, man. All right, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna judge you with a sword judgment and kill and kill the majority of you, man. All right, and the rest of you are going into slavery, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Rightfully so. Why? Because you put these people in slavery. All you other nations, you had a hand in putting your hand on the most the apple, the apple of the Most High's eye, man. So, hey, recompense. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the name of the game right now. Recompense, man. Yeah, he said the, the day of vengeance is in my heart, man. So he thinking about it, meditate. The same way the scriptures say uh, we meditate terror, man. Yeah, how is I meditate to terror. terror too, man? Exactly. Right. It's written throughout the scriptures. What are you gonna do to you people, man? Kick it, terror. God. Right. They think it's done away with. All <laughs> Isaiah and Jeremiah saying. I got a precept for that. This is Luke chapter 24, verse 44. This is how is I talking to his apostles? He said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets. Right, and what's the law of Moses? The first five books of the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck are you people talking about? And this is in the, uh, the, the New Testament. What do you think that we were referring to when they used to read the scriptures? The Old Testament, man. In the law of Moses and in the prophets, 
and in the Psalms concerning me. So yeah, so in Psalms, uh, chapter 2, it say that the Lord, uh, he's going to be giving the heathens of the earth. It says in Psalms 137 that um, we shall be, that the men of the Lord shall be happy when they dash the, um, the Edomite children upon the stones. That's right. One more. Oh, you got one. Yeah, I'm okay, you. Yeah, yeah. You're okay, Ocho. You're okay, today. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dust them in pieces like a potter's vessels. So that's and that goes pursuant to is it uh, Jeremiah? Is it my battle, battle axe and weapons of war. We are the weapons of war for Yahweh Shai. When he puts that spirit on us, we gonna fuck shit up. Work. And we going through the beginning stage of we like being briefed, you know, as soldiers getting our mind mental right. And then you know, Lord willing, we be part elect. The Most High bring that spirit down. Hey. Let heads rolling, man. That's all you're gonna see, man. With no remorse. Women, children, hey, somebody get Jeremiah 16, 16. I, got it. I already got it. I'll be home. <laughs> it's Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord. Right, and we fishing right now. That's what we're doing. We're casting the reel out, and you gotta be patient when you're fishing. Because you may not get a bite. And today we haven't got a bite, really. But we're gonna fit, we're gonna do it week in and week out. Why? Because it's been decreed from the most how to do so. We ain't get a bite, but guess what? We're gonna come out next week and do the same thing. We're gonna get a bite, we're gonna come out the next week. We're gonna come to the same water hole, whether we get a bite or not. Right, right, that's right. Right. And what's the what's the saying every week? Huh? Nothing personal, personal is just business. business. Right. 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 right, right. We got a job to do, baby. And we're gonna do it to the best of our ability, week in and week out, like the brother said, prophesy to the goddamn wind. Cause, hey, majority of the time, that's what we be doing. But you know what? It's going on the, on the web, in the word, the unicorn, and it's going to the four corners of the earth. You get what I'm saying? We're supposed to condemn them anyway. Right. So somebody got, walked by and they heard this and they mocked, at least we condemned them. Right. And then the most high gonna be blameless. Because he's gonna be like, hey, well, I, hey, from Miami, or oh, I had men out there on the corner telling you the uh, 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 nuclear. I even brought brothers from other states in to come, you know, you know, help push the word. And you niggas and said that not in none of my council, you know. Time come, time come, yeah. it won't even, when that time come, ain't gonna be no more talking, man. No. When no. that time come, ain't gonna be no need to say, oh, I, I told you I was on the corner. Right. This is already gonna be sealed. Your, your faith is already destined for death, so it's just gonna be straight. Like, hey, like we said, ain't nothing personal, just business, right? right? We're going to keep doing what we do. Uh, and, 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 and that's, that's scriptural, because um, cause in Ezekiel, man, uh, when our people was getting uh, fucked up by the Babylonians, man, uh, they, they sought to inquire at Ezekiel's mouth, man. And Ezekiel, as the Lord told Ezekiel, man, um, this people shall not be inquired of at, uh, by me, man. Right. Don't come and ask me any questions, man. And, and, hey, that's going to that's gonna happen again, man. When, when shit pops off, man. Look, man, when martial law troops bust down your door, man, and start blowing your brains out, man, they're not going to come and tell you, oh, my prophets, the prophets of the Most High prophesied to you that in this verse and in that, that verse, verse yeah. you know, we're going to come if y'all didn't. No. This scroll, that scroll. Nah. Nah, nah man. And that day ain't going to be no asking questions. You're just going to get put to death. Man. That's right. Nah. Say, when your fear cometh as calamity, I shall mock, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to mock. And the Most High not going to crack the clouds and ha, 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 ha. No. He gonna use his men to do it, man. 